So this is kind of a big story that's going on in Massachusetts, my home, my home state, Massachusetts, the beautiful mass. But of course, uh, we're not perfect. BPD, Boston Police, or the state troopers have lost one of their recruits in a training exercise, they say. Uh, let's tune into the video and see what's going on out here in these Massachusetts streets. We begin with that breaking news. The family of a Massachusetts State Police recruit injured during his training confirms he has died in a hospital in Worcester. They are sharing this photo of him tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm JC Monahan. And I'm Colton Bradford in for Corey Smith. That trainee you just saw was injured during a training exercise at the Academy in New Braintree. We're hearing from those who knew that recruit tonight. NBC 10's Jericho Tran joins us live from Worcester. She has the very latest on this tragic story, Jericho. Colton, JC, that recruit's name is Enrique Delgado Garcia. I spoke with his family moments after they learned about his death. They tell me there is no settlement, no amount of money that can make this right. They just want Delgado back. I, I fully agree with that. I fully agree with that. Prayers up for their family, man. Um, I, I can't understand how this could have happened. You don't really hear stuff like this happening uh, with the police department, not not to this extent to where a training training uh, injury would kill someone. So that's a little suspect to me, obviously. But man, this is sad, man. This is sad. Unfortunate what's going on right now in the Boston, Massachusetts area. Uh Worcester, Massachusetts area. Very unfortunate, man. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little confused still on how this is, how this is a training injury. I want to know more details, obviously. Let me know y'all thoughts about this down in the comments below too, especially if y'all from Boston. A smiling face gone far too soon. Now my cousin is dead. We're broken. No sir. That's basically devastated it. family members tell me becoming a Massachusetts state trooper was Delgado's dream. You would have been the best state police officer there. I feel like that's why what happened to you happened to you and it sucks. They were told the 25 year old was injured during a boxing exercise at the Massachusetts State Police Academy in New Braintree on Thursday. But family members have their doubts. All I know is this. My cousin is dead and something has to happen. They say Delgado's injuries are not consistent with what he would have sustained during a training exercise. They say he had missing teeth, his neck was broken, brain injury and contusions all over his body. I spoke to them yesterday when I first showed up. I asked them what happened. The guy told me, I don't know, I wasn't there, but it was an accident. So if you... I don't know, I, I wasn't there, but it was an accident. What you talking about? Boxing, a boxing match did this? Nah, nah, they, they, nah. This can't be just boxing. This is probably like MMA, if anything. Maybe MMA, but even then, they, they didn't stop the fight. I'm confused, man. I'm confused. What's going on? This don't sound, this don't sound good. This do not sound good at all, man. This you don't know, good. then why are you saying that it was an accident? A lot of questions and a lot of grief this right don't now. Sound good. Uh, Delgado was training for three months. He was supposed to graduate in just two weeks. We reached out to the Massachusetts State Police after speaking with the family, and we have still not heard back. In the meantime, the Worcester County DA is investigating this. We're told that Delgado was a formal, former employee at the DA's office. In Worcester, Jericho Tran, NBC 10 Boston. Jericho, thank you. Let's stay on this for just a moment because that trainee was part of the 90th recruit training troop. And when the NBC 10 Boston investigators looked into the previous slate of trooping trainees, they found a shocking number of those trainees were dropping out. Department data that we obtained showed overall 46% of trainees who had signed up dropped out just weeks into training. Half of the female recruits and 45% of the males resigned. The top three reasons trainees left the academy were dealing with a medical condition 
or an injury, feeling unprepared physically or mentally, and viewing it as a wrong career choice. You can actually find that full report from our investigators on our website at NBCTimBoston.com or, of course, on our free mobile. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That don't sound good at all. That don't even sound like a place you want to be, honestly. I'm so confused. Over 50%. Over 40% for men, over 50% for women drop out Be due to injury or mental illness. What? This is crazy. This is crazy. This don't sound good at all, man. I know they're trying to make them real tough because police officers, that's probably why they got so much mentally abusive police officers. An aggressive police officer because they be getting the the dog the dog snot beat out of them in police training. That don't make no type of sense. No type of sense, y'all. Let me know y'all thoughts about this down in the comments below, man. I I'd really like to know y'all thoughts. Uh this is very interesting. R.I.P. to this to this young man. Um, I pray for his family, obviously. I'm praying that they get the answers they need. And uh, hopefully this 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 corruption, I hope this is not corruption. I hope this is seriously an accident or, you know, just something that. I don't even know how they're going to justify this. Honestly, this don't sound good at all, but it, it's looking bad. It's looking really bad. It, it's looking bad, man. R.I.P., man. Let me know your thoughts about this again down below in the comments till next time hit that like button hit that subscribe button on y'all way out it's your boy d got sauce man peace